Hello, it is Nat from Studio Hacks, and today I'll be answering GarageBand questions from the internet. And let's go to the internet. Here we are. Look at that. And what are people typing in? GarageBand, how to change tempo mid song, and how to change time signature mid song. Okay. So, uh, first of all, the tempo is this thing in the middle, that's the beats per minute. And then here is your time signature here, most commonly 4-4, four, four, that's what it's automatically set to. Now, unfortunately, you cannot change the time signature dynamically in the middle of the song. Uh, you'll have to go up to a more sophisticated door like Logic, Pro Tools, Cubase, Ableton to do something like that. Uh, but the good news is, uh, that we can change the tempo. So just to change the static tempo, we can just uh, type that in there. But to change it over time, we go to track and we have a show tempo track, shift command T. Is that a shift? I don't know. Let's try it out. There we go. It is a shift. So here is the tempo track and then we can automate the tempo over time. So if I click there, and I want to start out at 95, uh, 90 beats per minute and then right here change to 100 I'll just drag that up to 100 so let's have a listen to that as it happens so you can hear that got a lot faster and the other cool thing you can do is um, you know be quite creative with these changes in tempo uh, you just click on that line to make a break point but then if I drag that down low, I can actually then grab that one and make a slow ramp down. So um, you can make, and then you just click on the break, a uh, double click on a break point um, to get rid of it. So this is what that would sound like. So that could be good for the end of the song or just to be creative. Uh, so that's a real simple one, uh, guys. You just uh, grab that tempo track and unfortunately you can't change the, the um, time signature mid-song, but that's how you change uh, the tempo dynamically. Have some fun with that and I'll see you in the next video.